If there's one thing Americans love, it's our space. But space has an unpleasant side effect, sprawl. And that means long commutes. In fact, because of our sprawling, spacious cities, the average North American commutes twice as far as the average European and uses three times as much energy. Today, cities make up 66% of the world's total energy use, which is expected to grow to 80% by the year 2040. And since cities are the largest producers of carbon emissions, what can we do to make them greener? In other words, how can we build the ideal city? It all comes down to one thing, density. Turns out, more people in less space isn't always a bad thing. Why? Because dense is more. Dense urban areas encourage public transportation. That can cut average car use by more than 1,000 miles per person per year and you can still have lots of space. You might just have to get a little creative. Manhattan, for example, has an estimated 30 square miles of unused roof space. That's 20 times the size of Central Park. Density can also mean less traffic. Take deliveries. In the future, instead of using big trucks and even bigger ships, cities can use smaller, greener vans to make the deliveries instead. That not only lowers street congestion, it also makes for a much nicer walk around the block. But more than anything, a compact city can be a more energy efficient city. Power plants, for one, can be a lot smarter. They can be connected to smart grids, which will let them put their wasted energy to good use, like in Amsterdam, where 10% of the city's homes are heated by waste. That means less pollution and cheaper utility bills. Of course, no city is the ideal city, and we can't just redesign them from scratch. We need to be adaptable. But ideals do provide a shared sense of direction even if where we end up is only partial, at least we've seen how far we can go. And in the process, we'll have built a better, more sustainable place to live.